Jumpy jump jump jump. So are we still on for Mega Game World tonight? Affirmative. Tonight's the night I make high score on Furball Frenzy. You have to get into the right click now, because by high school, all the good clicks are full. Note to self, join click by lunch. Hair, very importante. In, gems. Out, yours. Wee <gasps> wee, oui, oui. très chic. Translation, cool, in Frenchalistic. Lesson 7,856. Those are called underlings. Only talk to them if they can help you, or you can brag. Underlings, got it. Hi, Jim. Hi, Brenda. Hello, underlings. Underlings? Huh? What's with the toot? Brenda used to be cool. It's the gemstone makeover. It eliminates manners and niceness. Oh, we've been challenged. What now? Watch and learn. Hello, Spellman and other people. Guess what? You're finally getting that personality <laughs> transplant. I'm hosting two exchange students starting tomorrow. Cool. Where from? France? Russia? Portugal? Even better, the far-off exotic wilds of Canada. Wow, Jim, that's pretty exotic. You don't know the half of it. I'll learn conversational Canadianese, we'll eat traditional Canadian delicacies, like Canadian bacon, and a Canadian salad with creamy Canadian dressing. <laughs> Sounds tasty. I also plan to immerse myself in their quaint Canadian tribal customs. Tribal customs? Like what? Uh, uh like, uh, well, um... Correct! She's trying to improvise! Emergency station stat! <laughs> uh, ping pong. So there. Come on, Brenda. Let's go somewhere to be noticed. Hey! Can you believe that? What that girl knows about Canada could fit into a, well, something really small. Canada, huh? I wonder what a real Canadian looks like in the flesh. This is it, the Stone Residence. Woohoo! Look out, mortal realm, here comes trouble. Hey, smart guy, you're sprouting. Oops. Um, may I help you? Yeah, you can let us in. And you are? I'm Felicity, and this is my brother Dawson, the Canadian exchange students, and who might you be? I'm Saunders, Master Ruby's personal chef. Uh, but we weren't expecting you until tomorrow. And uh, how did you get here from the airport? Uh, come to think of it, how did you get past the security guard? This mortal has spunk. Yup, I hate spunk. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> and if the peas are touching the mashed potatoes again, somebody's fired! Huh? Uh, hello? And you are? I'm Felicity, and this is my brother Dawson. My Canadian exchange students. You must be Jem, eh? I'm so excited you're here. We're going to have so much fun, and you're going to be my new best friends. What? Oh, sorry. I forgot about the language thing. You speak English very well. Can my staff get you anything? Watch this. 
They told us this was your room, but we couldn't believe it. What's wrong with my room? <laughs> Nothing, if you're a lame-o. But if you want my opinion, this is what you need to make this dump into a real room. That? But it's... Too cool for you? Well, Dawson, I tried. <laughs> Molly, I want an interior decorator in here yesterday. Can I help you? My personal assistant will handle this. I don't know. What's not to know? It's cutting edge. Now let's do something about your look. Huh? How about I challenge you to a match on salad toss? Kid, high score. Must concentrate. Sabrina, ouch! Rude much. Do you see what I see? <gasps> Gem? Hello, geeks. Bet you all wish you looked as cool as me. Um, yeah, if only. Gem, did you lose a bet? Laugh all you want, but this is all part of the cutting-edge fashion that is Canada. Says who? Says my foreign exchange students. Dawson? Felicity? What? You know them? Hi, guys. It's been a long time. What is going on here? Well, I'm really thirsty. Be a pal and fetch me a lima bean fizz. Oh, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> Hey, Chloe, acne zapper is free. Oh, gotta go. Guys, wait. Let him go. Mortals will cramp our netherworld reunion. So, Sabrina, you've been changed a bit. But you guys sure have. You look so cool. Yeah, we know. A lot of things have changed since Camp Netherworld. Camp? What was it, five years ago? I remember it like it was yesterday. Hold on. If we're going to flashback, I'd like to sit down first. Much better. Go on. <sighs> I remember it like it was yesterday. And instead of a hoof, he had a hook. I want my mommy. So what are you guys doing here? Well, rule number six in the fairy realm is that every hundred years you get a two-week vacation in the mortal realm. Here you go, Felicity. Hey, Spellman, stop breathing all over my Canadians. So, uh, how did you guys say you knew Spellman? Ugh! El Grande Barf! <gasps> I said Lima Bean Fizz. But that is Lima Bean Fizz. Uh, not even. This is a Salisbury Steak Soda. See? Huh? And I'm a vegetarian. And still thirsty. <laughs> that was mean. And? Sabrina, let's ditch the mortals and go have some real fun. Real fun? What is this? Imitation tofu flavored fun? You know what I mean. Go somewhere where we can let our wings hang down. Like France. We could zap there and kick it on the Eiffel Tower. Kicking it in France sounds really fat and everything, but I can't just leave my friends. Just for tonight? Maybe some other time. I'm gonna go get some more tokens, and all five of us can play video games. It looks like Ferret Stomper's free. Well, this is lamer than a three-legged manticore. Sabrina can't leave her friends, but maybe her friends leave her. Yeah. Nasty girl. Hey, we never got introduced. I'm Harvey, and this is Chloe. <gasps> Felicity. Dawson. Why don't we all go to the Secretary of State Cafe? 
I could really go for a Casper Weinberger with cheese. Uh, Sabrina wanted to take us out and show us the town. Alone. She knew you'd understand. We'll tell her you said goodbye. Okay. That girl did not just diss me. Come on, let's go grab a burger. We'll talk to Sabrina tomorrow. Here's your lima bean fizz. Huh? So Harv and Chloe really just bolted? They said something about having a fire to get to. Which means we can go do this! Sabrina. You look happy. Guess you had a great time alone with your friends last night? Well, yeah. Where did you guys go? Where did we go? Your new friends uninvited us to hang out with you. Dawson and Felicity? You must have misunderstood. Sabrina! Ready to tear it up again tonight? Definitely. I thought we were gonna tear it up at the museum tonight. Harvey, Sabrina and I have tickets to the vintage aircraft exhibit tonight. You remembered, right? Oh, yeah. There's the first bell. I'll see you guys after homeroom. Vintage aircrafts? Guess that pales in comparison to toasting marshmallows at the Earth's core, huh? Wait, your magic? Oop. Cover blown. We're gonna have to erase her memory. No, wait, she's cool. She knows about the whole witch deal. What, Ev? Are you hanging with us or not? Why don't we do both? We can go to the exhibit, then do the marshmallow thing. Boring! Why go see old planes when we can introduce you to Amelia Earhart herself? And excuse me, but first of all, Harvey doesn't know you're a witch, and B, we're mortals. The heat would cook us like chili dogs. Wouldn't mind seeing that. <laughs> oh, right. Obviously, your commitments to your old friends don't mean much anymore. So have fun. Hope you don't burn yourself. Chloe, wait! Hey, let her go, Sabrina. But she's my friend. If she was your real friend, she'd realize you have to have netherworld fun once in a while. But I don't want her to be mad at me. Oh, she'll cool down. That's the thing with mortals. Their emotions are all freaky. One minute illin', next minute chillin'. Here, this will cheer you up. Huh? Sweet! But I can't really afford clothes like this on my allowance. Don't you get it? You don't have to afford them. You're a witch. And you look hot. I... I do? Let's go! But we have school. Now it's after school. Everybody in! You guys can drive? Of course we can't drive. We're only 112. The car drives. Man, without Sabrina here all week, lunch is a drag. Tell me about it. She always trades me her Thursday liverwurst for my PB&J. I'll take that. <coughs> hey, this is supposed to be liverwurst. Sabrina isn't showing up for lunch anymore. What? I can't eat that roadkill you bring every day. What am I supposed to eat for lunch? Jeez. Some people have no consideration. Hello, peasants. 
Magnificent, no. Whoa! Woo. For your information, it's all the rage in Canada to cut your own hair and use garlic for perfume. That's right, eh? Let's go. Our beauty is wasted here. You mind if I just take a little nap? Girl, what is up with this zombie act? And where have you been all week? Sorry, guys. I've been busy all week with Dawson and Felicity. But I can pencil you in next week after they go back home. Pencil us in? But we're your best friends. And best friends don't have to settle for being backup plans when somebody's cool friends aren't around. But it's not like that. Sabrina, Felicity and Dawson are changing you. And not in a good way. You guys don't understand. It's complicated. I'll totally make it up to you. <sighs> when? I... I... I don't know. I have to check my schedule. Tell it to the bench, because Chloe is out of here. Um, I guess you can talk to my bench, too, if you want. See how mortals don't understand? They don't want you to have fun. They're jealous. And they won't even sit with you at lunch. But... but... I don't want to lose my best friends. Who do you have more in common with, us or them? And who's cooler? If you want to be part of something cool, you got to stop hanging with those deadweight mortals. I have to go to class. I'll see you later. I can't believe she's still worried about those boring mortals when we have to leave in two days. Yeah, back to the fairy realm and just when we we're having such a good time. But rules are rules. Wait a minute. Rules are rules. <laughs> Oh, yeah, total score. What? According to Fairy Rule 657 stroke B, a fairy can permanently remain in the mortal world if he or she can trick a mortal into taking their place. Does it say how you're supposed to trick the mortals? Simple. Bring them into the fairy realm and get them to eat fairy food. A mortal who eats fairy shall remain ever a prisoner. All we need are a couple of mortal passies. And I know just the pair. Ah, sorry about that. What do you want? I'm really bummed about what happened between you and Sabrina. So Felicity and I were thinking it would be cool for the four of us to bond. Really? How about you come over to Jem's house for some snacks and fat tracks after school today? You guys got a deal. Don't tell Sabrina. It'll be a surprise when she shows up later. I don't trust those two. Oh, come on, Chloe. It's just a party. What could happen? What's up? I've coughed up hairballs that look happier than you. I'm only losing my best friends. Oh, let old Salem cheer you up. Want me to clean your ears? Ugh, no. Just let me sulk in peace. Whoa, whoa. I have to admit, this is really nice of you. Oh, it's our pleasure. Go on in. We'll be in in a second. Perfect. They think they're walking into the rec room, but really they've just walked through a portal to the fairy realm. And all we have to do is get them to eat something and they're trapped forever. Things get better by the minute. In Canada, the upper class serves the lower class because they're so much better off. Hors d'oeuvre? <laughs> Chloe's mom said she was at Jem's house. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Kinkle. It's Sabrina. Is Harvey there? No, dear. He's at Jem's house saying goodbye to her Canadian exchange students. Okay, thanks. At Jem's house? Saying goodbye? Wait a minute. <gasps> they wouldn't! Whoa. Don't! Huh? Sabrina, why are you bugging? 
digging. Spellman, don't you dare ruin this party. No, it's part of the fun. It's the Canadian tradition. The Saskatchewan food slapping dance. Cool. Now this is a party. Sabrina, what are you doing? You asked me who I had more in common with. You or them. Well, the answer is them. I can't believe you turned your back on your friends for a couple of mortals. Real friends would never make you give up your other friends. You want to be a mortal loser? Suit yourself. We're archives. Well, it looks like Dawson and Felicity were forced to go home. And I'm forced to apologize. Friends? <laughs> I think someone needs a nice long bath. Okay, that's it. Spellman and her little club are never allowed in this house again. Somebody get in here and clean up this mess! <laughs> Ugh. You must be Jem. We're Nan and Bert, your Canadian exchange students. Wow, those Americans are certainly high-strung, eh? Tell me about it. <laughs>